Now, as well as these, we, you have fantastic project management because, of course, this is all about managing a whole pile of sound effects. Let's load uh, the examples. We've got a whole and it will instantly load all of the sounds that you've created for your project and you, you, you get to see all of the samples that in this project and all of the modulators used in the project as well. And the colour, these little coloured dots give you a quick guide to what, how the sound is put together. Activate is a sine wave, it moves through an arpeggiator, oscillator synchronisation, a delay. And it gives this nice echoey sound due to the delay. Now you also have environments. If I right click on here, you'll see this is all blank at the moment. But if I add a new one, you can basically add a whole set of post processing. So let's listen to uh, a plain one first. How about a uh, switch? So that's what it sounds like on its own. But we can add something in the environment. A reverb, RVO, oxyverb. Voila! And this environment will now apply to all of these. It's an extra layer of processing, so if you wanted to create a whole series of sounds that work in different environments, let's try let's try behind glass. So this is filtered. Suddenly it sounds muffly. This remains echoey and primary is just empty. You can attach things to primary but I think it's good practice to keep this one blank just um, so you know what the raw sound sounds like. This is cavey. Cave. You could turn up the decay on the reverb. Chickens of Doom. It keeps playing until I press the space key or stop because you can create sounds that loop. In fact, one of the strengths of the program is creating sounds that loop forever. For example, if I load the preset pack, which comes with SFX Engine, there's a sound called Heavy Industry, which is a loop and it, it just consists of four samples. This sound. And yet it's massively deep and rich in terms of its sound. Just as guillotine, that's only four samples. And yet what a cool sound that is. And you can customise any aspect of them. If we view this, we've got a great sound. But when you're ready to save out your project, we'll go to the uh, render menu. And this is how you save out your final quality sounds. You, you can render all the sounds. A range, you can type a range here, 0 to 25. All the sounds are numbered for easy and quick reference to what the sounds are. It will warn you, it will by default, it will save out the sounds with this file name. It will be called explosion punch it dot wav. But it will warn you if you've got two sounds with the same name because you don't want to accidentally save over, do we? Um, you can render just the current sound, you can render the range or all of them, and you can change, choose the format. You'll probably always want anti-alias sounds, particularly it, without aliasing some of the effects will sound a bit more grating and gritty, but sometimes you'll want that, sometimes you might want that, so you have the option of turning off aliasing. You can save out in 16-bit, float format, which is... Uh, 32 bit, but the sound quality is technically 24 bits if you know your 32 bit float details. Um, you can save out in stereo, left or right. Of course, you can save out in any other combination of that. You could create a uh, an effect here which merges. This mono engine will merge engines, merge uh, channels left and right into it, however, whatever combination you want. So this, this particular literally one will merge left and right into a mono. But you can also save out in stereo left or right. Stats will also, you can trim, start and end as well, which will trim to exact perfect zero. 
but you could set this in the inner configuration file if you really wanted to trim a little bit higher which is sometimes uh, desirable you might want to crop them a little bit smaller for memory reasons you can also lower the sound quality which is useful for some games I mean for years I rendered sound effects in 22050 Hertz for example because in audio terms it doesn't make a huge amount of difference for the for the user but it saves 50% of the memory and save stats will save out a CSV file of everything it saves out complete with all of the uh, details uh, of all the sounds are called let's render them all render all the sounds you get a quick folder requester what folder to save them and it will gradually save out all of these sounds in the current environment list and there we are 10 seconds later and all 26 sounds are saved well I hope you've enjoyed SFX engine and I hope you get a clue to just how powerful it can be